Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video, welcome to a very chaotic video, look at this, this is currently what I'm dealing with, somehow I've got to fit all of this into that, so yeah, obviously I'm not having a lot of fun. I'm stressed to be honest with you. I know it's a bit of a first world problem because I am very grateful that I'm going on holiday. Oh, my ring's over there. Sorry, I'm, I'm literally losing the plot. It's getting really late and I am still like nowhere near comfortably packed, packed considering I leave tomorrow morning like really early um i've still got a shower shave and edit a full video for you guys that will go up while i'm away um oh uh, i'm trying to pick outfits so that i don't overpack but equally like i know i'm gonna overpack also i just don't know how many outfits to pack and it's really hard on holiday to kind of distinguish between i'm trying to do like five or so day outfits and like six evening outfits but it's hard to like distinguish between the two like a lot can be overlapped um there's just a lot of clothes there's a lot going on and i've also got like parcels sitting over there that like aren't going to be returned until i get back and it's my own fault for leaving everything to the last minute but anyway i thought i would film a pack with me i've seen a few of these um floating around on you the youtube realm and i quite enjoyed watching them to be honest especially if you are going on holiday yourself and you want to get some outfit i do it would be good if i could actually speak throughout this video um if you wanted to get some outfit ideas some inspiration or i don't know whether you just want to know what sort of things on of how much i pack so let's get into it i have wrote a list that is what I've started with. So I've gone for two airport outfits because basically I brought a jogger set. Oh my god. A jogger set with shorts and then I brought a jogger set with tracksuit bottoms. The tracksuit bottoms are for the way there when I'm pale and the shorts are for the way back when I'm tanned. And obviously um, it's going to be cold at like 5am in the morning. So I'm going to want joggers. But in Spain it's going to be hot and we fly back in like the afternoon. So. Um, I've got seven bikinis, that's one for every single day, that is far too excessive, but there we go, one of them is a swimsuit, I will show you guys in a sec, but this is just like what I've written down, I've got nine pairs of knickers, two to three pairs of socks, I'm going to go with three, because obviously I need a pair for the airport on the way there, a pair for the airport on the way back, and then potentially a pair, I'm mainly going to be in sandals, but I might do, I don't know, a bit of exercise, <laughs> probably not. Um, I put two pairs of pyjamas, but I'm just going to pack one and then probably won't really sleep in them much anyway because it's going to be a hat and one workout outfit, a bit ambitious. I've got six evening outfits with things to write exactly what evening outfits I'm going to wear, six daytime outfits and then just like other stuff like toothbrush, skin care, skincare, moisturiser, hairbrush, Kindle, chargers, adapters, airpods, just so I don't forget to like pack those things um so yeah literally where to even begin i've already like started to sort my toiletries out because we've only got hand luggage obviously we only need allowed like 100 milliliters of everything so let's just talk you through some things that i've got and then to be honest i don't think i'm going to be able to do like a proper pack with me just because i am like all over the place and it probably won't be very entertaining to see me incredibly stressed and all you probably want to know is what is in my suitcase follow me on my instagram oh sorry i'm just trying to attach you to the chair sorry about making you a bit travel sick okay oh okay you're attached oh well, i don't know what that was probably something important let's talk you through some of the things if you want to see me wearing these things and styling them then follow my instagram that's what i was going to say but for now i'm just going to talk you through, through a few bits so i got this like green swirly bikini last minute on pretty little thing i like it because it's got like really thin um straps the top is a bit small but i think for a tan 
for tanning purposes, it's going to be fine. I also have this one, which is like a really interesting material. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this because I've worn this one quite a lot, but it is cute, but it's just not ideal for tanning, but then it is supportive. So we'll see. Um, I have this brown marble one. Again, it's just like a triangular tie one from Shein, and that comes with a long sleeved mesh top and then i've also got some like brown tailored shorts to go with that um so that's kind of like a day outfit but this bikini which actually used to be my mum's is really cute like corally pink bikini so love that um i've got a plain black triangle one and then like this one from shein as well the black one is from misguided um that one is from my mum's wardrobe I think that's actually about it for bikinis i do probably need to put like a bandeau one in there but i'm really really running out of space um i've got this really cute crochet skirt from boohoo i don't actually have anything any plans for that but we'll see um i have this classic it's inside out um bodycon midi dress from zara in this lovely blue color i thought this would just be a really good thing to have in the um suitcase just day or night uh i have some other stuff in there that i don't want to unpack at the moment like but they were in my haul video i've got a white zara cord which is just some booty shorts and a little top like that again i just thought that'd be a nice daytime outfit um what else have we got i think i'm just gonna take one bag i think i'm just gonna take this white bag because it's gonna pretty much go with anything if it doesn't go with my outfit i just won't get it in the photo but i'm never gonna fit more than one bag in here and i feel like white is gonna go with more than black because most of my stuff is like neutrally colors um not much of it is dark and then i'm gonna take a tote bag as my hand luggage so I can always use that if I have to. I got these shorts from I Saw It First. They're really funky. I don't know if I, I'm going to take them or send them back because I'm not sure how I feel. But I did pair them with this um, top. I think this is from Zapple um, or Shein. And it like is one of those ones that just is like triangling. Ties around your neck there. So they did look kind of cute together. But because they're knitted, they're quite thick. I don't know if I'll wear it classic zara mum shorts love these got to take them on holiday and then there's this cute bandeau top from boohoo which i actually haven't worn yet but i've had it for a while and then i've got the same sort of style top from i saw it first in this stone color i don't know whether to take this or not though because i don't know if it's necessary to have two um and i could save some money and send it back i've got from primark just a couple of little beach cover-ups if i need to like pop into town for an ice cream or something i've got this green one which you probably saw in my primark haul and then i've got like a white frilly wrap over dress i've got this really nice crochet um jumpsuit from boohoo as another beach cover-up but again i just feel like i'm taking way too much stuff but what can you do i ordered this and i had really high hopes with it for it and i really want to take it just because it's such pretty colors but i don't know if um like i actually loved it and i feel like i've got some nicer stuff but i just like the pattern on this so because it's so summery like it's this really cute bandeau top with a ring detail and then it comes with this matching wrap over skirt and it is so so cute i feel like it's really like in right now as well but even though like look, the stuff over here is a lot more boring colors but i don't know like they just make they're just more flattering than that like it wasn't that flattering but i loved the colors and the pattern so a bit stuck there to be honest with you um i have this dress from misguided i've literally had it for years harry brought it for me i've never ever worn it but i thought it would be nice it's this little wrap dress it's like champagne color it's kind of long but it's really flowy it's not tight so i feel like if there's a really hot night or i just can't really be bothered um i can throw this on but i'll still look really nice and like i've tried 
um, because it's like really pretty dress. Also, Harry bought it for me and I've never worn it. So I think if he remembers that he even brought it for me, he'll appreciate the fact that I've worn it and took it with me. I got this dress from Pretty Little Thing, which I thought I was not gonna like, but I actually love it. It's green with white like piping details. And it's all like, it's maxi, like all the way down to her ankles and tight all the way down and I love it. Um, but like, do you know what I mean? This would just make such a cuter Instagram photo than this, but this makes me look 10 times better than this. So I'm a bit stuck there. I have another green dress, which is a bit excessive. I'm talking so fast as well, but I really need to like just sort my life out. And it's like a square neck. It's really, really nice actually. And then the back is like all open tie details, so flattering. And then it's ruched like up one side, it's like asymmetric. One side's a lot longer. Again, I really love that, but I feel like I, when I ordered all this stuff, my plan was to not keep it all. <laughs> so I'm constantly thinking like, what can I send back? This dress from Misguided is a winner, day, night, really easy throw on. I actually think I'm gonna have this for the daytime now, but I could also wear it in the evening. I've got this scarf top which is from Shein and you are oh, Zaffle and you can like um style it in different ways and I picked up these cream trousers from Pretty Little Thing to go with it but I'm not sure like they definitely go but I don't know if I've got stuff nicer than it and this dress is from Boohoo it was stunning on and it's lovely colours, so I feel like I'm definitely going to take this, but wow, is it a mission to go on. I don't know whose head they measured for that, but it wasn't human. I got this one from I Saw It First, and again, I'm in two minds about it, because it's, I don't like love it, it's not amazing, but I know I'll feel really comfortable in it, um, and it still looks nice. So it's like this beige colour, and it's meant to look like linen, and it's got a collar, and then a deep V, and then a little cutout detail, and then just a flowy bit at the end. There is no way I'm going to fit all this in here. Why didn't I pay for more luggage? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, I also do have this, which was a little bit of a last minute option. So I got this really nice bandeau from uh, Boohoo. And it's like a scarf one, so it looks like that, and then it like ties up over the neck. I love the colours, it's like blue and orange, and it's the only kind of thing that colour in my wall in like my packing that I have. But like if I had planned ahead, I could have got a really stunning orange skirt, and that would have just looked 10 out of 10, or even a really nice white skirt would look nice. Um, but orange would have looked absolutely fantastic. I didn't think that far ahead, so I've actually got nothing to wear with this, but I do really like it so. I either send it back because I'm never going to wear it um, because I've got nothing to go with it. I suppose I could wear it with the white booty shorts, but because it's so um, like revealing, I think that would be that would probably be way too much. But I have this black satin midi skirt, and I do think it will go with the black because it's like got quite dark, deep blue in it, and that just looks like this. So I really don't know, but I don't really enjoy wearing black too much on holiday. This lighting is absolutely atrocious. Shoes wise, I can't remember what I said to you guys. I think I'm just going to take um, a couple of pairs. So I've got these from Ego. I may wear these um there i'm not sure yet if not i will wear my adidas trainers or my nike air force but at least if i wear my adidas ones then i can also run or walk in them because harry ha is talking about going on a run or two we'll see um and then these primark sandals which literally will go with everything because they're just like a nude color um and they're flat 